Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Plus. Today, we are featuring Cliffside Estate, a luxurious player home on the Rift. Let's check out the map. Here we are at Cliffside Estate. To our west is Iverstead. Then you've got this small island, then you've got Cliffside Estate. When you arrive, go to the boat dock and find the owner and make him an offer for his home. This is a fine place you've got here. The whole property is for sale if you're interested. House is fully furnished and well stocked too. I'm asking 30,000 septums. You've got a deal. Great. With this kind of coin, I can finally explore Morrowind before I'm too old. Here's the key. Take care now. Judging from the fact that this guy's got some vampire armor on, I think he might already be a little bit old. Okay, now that we've got the home's key and we've bought it, it's ours, let's take a look around the property. Okay, over here it looks like we've got a smithing area. We've got an anvil over there. And straight ahead of us is a smelter. And then you've got a huge rock. And look at those aspen trees behind it. Really, no matter where you are in the rift, you're going to find some beautiful aspen trees nearby. If you like the aspen trees from my game, I use a mod called Aspen's Ablaze. So if you like them, you might want to check that one out. There's Nilheim in the background, if you're familiar with where that is. And then over here, you've got a fish hatchery. So you can produce some fish if you want to use them for alchemy or cooking. And then you can see that there's sky shards in the distance if you have that mod enabled. And now we're going to go up this hill and we're going to check out the outside of the home. Just what a fantastic area. Look at these beautiful leaves shedding for fall. I just love fall. I'm a runner and there's no better time of the year. Okay, over here you've got a workbench, an anvil, a grindstone, a tanning rack, on this beautiful wraparound porch. And then over here, it looks like you've got a little chair off to the side so you can sit and enjoy this mountain view. I imagine if you have Dindulot installed, that would be more impressive. I just found it difficult to install. But look at these views going around this wraparound porch. There's not a bad view no matter which side you're on. There's a place for you to sit and enjoy the views. But let's head in. Now that we're inside of Cliffside Estate, it looks like a little hunter's lodge. We'll start on this side of the room. It looks like you've got some places to display some of your weapons. Look at that gigantic dragon skull and gems. And it looks like you're just showing off your tremendous wealth. And then underneath the uh, saber cat heads there, you have an enchanted elven bow. And yes, you can take it and use it. It is not just a static display. Looks like you've got some harvestables, an oven, a cooking pot, a mounted deer head, a scary bear statue, and then you've got your alchemy area. That's a door that goes to the basement. We're gonna check that out here in a little bit. But first, we're gonna head upstairs where you have some more display areas. Looks like you've got a chest there for storage, some sword racks or staff racks, it looks like you've got a mannequin right there, some banners. There's one of the insects in the jar. And then it looks like you have your shrine to each of the divines. And then you have the stall rim axe. Yes, you can use it. And then there's your bed. On the other side of the room, you have a little garden area, but they are not fertile soils. You can't just pick and choose what you plant there. It's predetermined, but at least they give you a good variety. Now we'll head out this door and we'll check out our second floor deck. 
Looks like it's turned nighttime outside, or very close to it anyway. But you can still see a little bit of light in the sky. That waterfall looks a lot like the one that's over there by Tell Jordan if you have that home mod installed. I'm not sure if it is, it sure does look like it though. And then you've got a little bit of a view of the mountains, although it's kind of blocked by the aspen trees a little bit. But that's not a problem for me. Okay, we've seen the upstairs, we've seen the main living area. Now we're going to head downstairs and check out the basement. Ooh, look at that dragon bone sword. Missed that the first time around. Okay, let's check out the basement. Looks like you've got some stone raven heads as you enter the basement. Little tales from the crypt vibes. And we'll start on the left side of this room. So it looks like you've got a statue of Yskrimor. And then each of these stones have different effects, like that one resists 10% of magic. That one improves your one-handed by 10% improves your prices by 10%, and then that's the Shrine of Nocturnal, although it looks a little glitched, which increases your sneak by 10%. This is for Soul Gem Storage. Looks like they've given you a few gems to get started. If you like that enchanting table, that's from Welding Man's Enchanting Table Variants. You can check that out if you want. Over here, it looks like they've got some different categories for chests. There are 18 chests over here, each with a different purpose, and you can see how they're labeled if you decide to download this. Looks like we have another four mannequins to the left, and they've cleverly designed the dragon to breathe the fire into the brazier. And then you've got another one going over there. Wow, that fire is really going. Some bookcases for the bookworms of Skyrim. Some more sword racks. And look at that fire too. Wow. You might need to be careful when you're cooking at this home. Looks like you've got a little dining room area. It looks like I've trapped myself in too. I'll just do a nice little hop. Oh, what's going on there? Okay. Anyway. It looks like that's all the basement has to offer. So let's go ahead and head back up and wrap this thing up. This concludes our tour of Cliffside Estate. If you enjoyed this feature, click the like button. Feel free to comment with your thoughts. To see more of my videos, click on the playlist to browse my channel. And if you want to see my future content, click on the channel icon on the bottom left to subscribe. To never miss an episode, click the bell icon. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.